Hey up peeps, welcome to Old Yorkshire Git Tries Final Fantasy 14 Part 100 and here I am in the flesh and there's plenty of me. <laughs> right, well I hope he's not going to put you off and I just want to give a big shout out to the Bit Shoot Massive. They've stuck with me for ages. Fair play to you, kudos guys, kudos. Not much doing on Netflix, uh, Netflix, bloody I tell you, I, I'm losing it, losing my mind on YouTube, not a lot happening on there, I've had a few rumbles, <laughs> oh matron, but anyway, down to business, sounds back, so it must have been at their end, it weren't, definitely weren't at mine, because when I come out of it, I've got sound everywhere on all the other stuff I do, so anyway, let's get down to this. Let's go and see Minge Filler. Oh, they're still brooding over Moonbreeder, are they? Okay. Never have I seen Orion J so utterly defeated. No one should be made to suffer such grief. We shall gather in Chalet Manor to celebrate Moonbreeder's life and mourn her passing. Alright. What goodies we got? Heaven's Eye. Direct hit rate. Critical hit. Determination will have the critical hit. Can never have enough of them. I reckon. <laughs> what do I know? <laughs> Have they got one that gives you extra for falling off a cliff? Alright, means filler again. No, not you, Ada. Minch filler wishes to gather the science. Oh, God. As Moonbreeder was a native of Charlay, and I feel it is only fitting that we gather before the mark of the skull. Are you familiar with the stone? It is a monument found at Wraith Frost. Sacred to Thaliac. There shall we pray. Bid her a peaceful return to the light of the Mother Crystal. Bloody cables getting on me now. Bear with me a second. <laughs> there we go. Get behind me back. That's it. Out of the way. Right. Quest accepted. I don't know if this picture's big enough in the corner. I have no idea. I don't know how you can enlarge it. People watching on the mobile phone might think, bloody hell, he's little. <laughs> sure, and I'll tell you what, I ain't little. You'd rather say, no, you ugly old bastard. Turn it off. Either that or you sexy hunky Yorkshire pudding. <laughs> you got a laugh. Right, how do we get here? Oh, it's that way there, is it? Oh, it's right outside the door then. Let's get map central. Actually, I know this is lazy, but it's probably the quickest way to do it. Because I've got to go out of two doors, haven't I? At least this way. Sorry for picking me nose, Greenwich. <laughs> That's the only thing wrong with it, isn't it? You see everything I do. Well, funny if I'm doing this and our dubs brings in me a cup of coffee, she'll shout herself. Actually, at work today, bless her. That's why it's an early show. Right, which way we got to go that way? Get on me chicken. Off we go. Not interested. Oh, 
through this, right? Hexing Harrier. What's that one? It's at home. Plasmoids. Well, it's around here somewhere. Zoom in on the map. Oh, it's over here. Hardly see that. Right, what we gotta do here? I should have made a brew before I come out, I forgot. Oh well can't do much about it now. What's happening? Oh, we're getting all sentimental, is it? Oh, shit. Boring. Let's have a puff on the old vape. Forgive me, Moonbreeder. Had I been quicker or wiser. I just realised she's got different togs on today, hasn't she? But I was not. And you paid the price. But you would not suffer us to wallow in oh, no. sorrow, would you? You would tell us to pick ourselves up and get on with it. And so we shall. We shall defend this realm and her people to the last. Life or death, a fair exchange. Other bargains will be struck. Did anybody else see that or just him? It's not me, you people, I meant on screen. Oh, we've got to go back to Rising Stars, okay. Maybe I shouldn't have used that thing because now I've got to fly back. Chicken. Don't think what to do then. Oh shit. Do it again. Bugger. Shrink my map down a bit. No shrink. There we go. Can see where I'm going then. There we go.
Need to shave and Avon. Rising stones. Minge fella. Oh, come on, get it on me, Albert. Though we have said our farewells, the pall of sadness has diminished, but, li but little. Forgive me, as antecedent, it is my job to be the pillar of strength. And oh, well, Albert wants to use you as a pillar. <laughs> for strength for all of us to lean upon. Yeah, I also believe the grief we feel now is precious in its own way. And not to be lightly swept aside. Do you not agree, Albert? What's that a song was just coming in my head then that <laughs> Albert wants a bosom for a pillow. Albert wants a bosom for a pillow. Right, speak with Minge Fellow, yeah, well I'm here. God, it's only been ten minutes. Dumbo girl, it is as if a dagger has been thrust into my breast. Albert wants to stick his <laughs> oh, matron, but it is a pain we must learn to bear if we are to forge ahead with our duty. Oh dear, sorry, I got teasing me out again. <laughs> the battle we have fought have taken the lives of so many. Louis Suave, Moonbreeder, our fellows at the Waking Sands. The spirit and dedication, however, will never be lost as long as we rise to fight once more. <laughs> I hardly need remind you of this, of course. It is for my own benefit that I repeat these words, a reaffirmation of mine own chosen path. I often wonder how much you can get away with before you jump on you. <laughs> Got to push the boundaries sometimes. If I do not rebuild the foundation... I'm likely to collapse in a fit of weeping. Albert will comfort you. My apologies again, Albert. There is no other to whom I could display such weakness. You are my pillar of strength, and I fear I shall have need of your steadfast presence in the days to come. Oh, yes. He'll be there for you. He's got the hots for you, darling. A victory won, a comrade lost to one of the fallen, the living forge ever on towards the light of a new day. Get them things like that all the time on Facebook, do my fucking head in. I just scroll past them. Light this candle for someone you have lost. Talking about lost, I had a contact the other day. You know, I, whenever I cough, like the you know, <coughs> excuse me, just a bit then, COVID, and I do that, and they said I'm being insensitive, you know, towards people who have lost loved ones. Well, hate to say it to them, but I recently lost both my parents. Oh, they're not dead. No, I just took them to the seaside and <laughs> I've got them. <laughs> Oh, oh, I jest. Sorry. Minge filler. Let's get back to business. Sorry, this camera being on it. I can't help it. Have you a moment? I believe Ada wished a word with you. I should consider it a personal favour. You could lend a sympathetic ear. Yeah. She has not been herself. Well, who's she been then? Since Breeders passing, my heart aches to see her so downcast. Yeah, I'll go speak with Ada. What's she look like if she's not herself? How will I recognise her? Yes, let's go. Uh, 
Ada, you with the scars in your thighs. Ada, Cocker, you alright? Hey, it's Albert, great. It's no use, I'm trying to stay positive, it's hard, you know. <laughs> well, Albert's just been to see Midge Filler, he can tell you it's hard. <laughs> The thing is, I know Moon would tell me off if she saw me moping, mop, mopping around. <laughs> moping. Which is why I decided to cheer myself up by getting her a spell. Oh, he, he's got a good pick of flower, has he? Bloody hell. Placed an order for a moon daisy with Rowena. And it's already been picked up. The trouble is, I find Rowena a bit difficult at the best of times. Blah de blah de blah. Thank you so much. I'll be waiting for you and the daisy at Wraith Frost. So I've got to pick the daisy up, then I've got to go all the way. Oh, oh load of shit. That's all on YouTube actually yesterday. I was watching the thing about a guy who does all anything to do with Xbox. And he. Uh, up and coming Final Fantasy titles aren't going to be available on the Xbox anymore. They're going to be PlayStation only. Well, and PC, I guess. But yes. Sony don't want them doing them for Xbox anymore. Which is a bit of a bummer, because I was hoping they'd do another one like uh, Final Fantasy XV. I did enjoy that. I love that car they drove about in. Right, where is she then? Out there. Okay, I can get there. Oh, I ain't said hello to Tattoo, have I? You can't see much, but this is my little den, all this. Well, as you can see behind me, it's not that big. It's basically a box room. But our dubs let me have it. So that I can come in here and knock one out every <laughs> day. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, Rowena up here. Hi, ah, yeah, I remember her. A rugged researcher. I'm not interested in sidelines. I know I should get me health and everything up. I can't be done with that. What can I do for you today? Eldritch trinket to trade. Hand over. They've got you running errands now. Them scions really know how to make the most of your talents. Seriously though, you'd best learn how to say no or they'll have you mucking out the ch chicken stables. Anyway, what was it you were the moon days, was it? Yeah, okay. Thank you, Rowena. She got anything else to sell? Nothing. No. Nah. What about over here? Foreign merchant. Oh, that yeah, these are the Frolicking oh, Beast. What's that? Oh, these are if you've got your house in it. Uh, yeah, can't afford one. Bloody property prices are going up. Purveyor of Prisms. Cool guy. Where's the independent merchant? Over here. Independent merchant. You got anything? That's all 50 in it. What about this one? Purchase items. You got anything of interest? Nah. Fishing gear. Don't do fishing. Weapons. Longbow, oh no, it drops me down. Be 17 physical damage. 
Still got the cobalt screw tips. <laughs> I'd love to see what a cobalt screw tip is. <sighs> Right, uh, deliver the moon to Wraith Frost again, which was down there in it. There we go. Get on me chicken. Only 20 minutes and dump a grow apart from fancy of art. Be so annoying, she just will not take no for an answer. Correct, drives me crazy. I re really appreciate you doing this for me. That's all right. Have a word with Minge Filler for me, says Albert. Bought these goggles for her. <laughs> Moonbreed, I love these things, you know. I hope that somewhere, somehow, she knows I'm still thinking of her. Get you, Moon. None of us will. The song riseth to a crescendo. Dragons. Is that what I think it is? I don't know. What do you think it is? Hello. Can you hear me? Have you had an accident in the past five days? <laughs> we have received grave tidings from Ishgard. Pray return to the Rising Stones at once. In stones. Oops. What did I just do then? Return. Yes. I don't know what I did then. I used something. Oh, shit. Or did I just get rid of me? No. Chocobo. I don't know, I don't know what happened. Rising stones. Oh, shaving oven. Rising stones. Why couldn't they put a crystal in the solar so you can just fast travel there? Her tattoo's not at her desk. Skimpy. Oh, she might be in solar, possibly. Find out. Puff on the old vape. Alfie! Oh, I like Alfie. You're right, cocky. My apologies for the interruption. I was deeply saddened to learn of Moonbreeder's passing. Her loss would be sorely felt. 
Alas, recent develops leaves a little time to mourn. The envoy from Kurthas will soon arrive. We must hasten to hear a report. Right, what's next? Oh, Alfie again. Alfie! It's a name you don't hear anymore, isn't it? The envoy is here. Oh, she's here, Philoki. Don't you want me, baby? I thank you for receiving me at such short notice. Time is of the essence, so I would forgo the usual pleasantries if I may. Certainly, you come with news of the Dravanians. Aye, the dragons have begun their attack in earnest. First wave reached the Central Islands. Sir Emmerich himself sallied forth with a contingent of Temple Knights and several companies. Though the beasts were ultimately forced into retreat, our victory, if such as it may, came at the cost of many of our own, too many. We will not withstand a second wave. You paint a grim picture, my lady. It is reinforcements you seek now. Oh, now they want to parley and join up. We do. Though it pricks our pride and prides our pricks, it is plain we cannot protect this guard with our ranks, thus thin by the horde. Sir Emmerich would meet with you uh, to discuss the possibility. Very well, I shall depart for Kothas at once. I must warn you, however, that the involvement of the Crystal Braves is by no means assured. Our commitment to quelling the unrest in Uldar must take precedence. It is with, it is with such... I ain't got my specs on. I've got my appointment. Not till bloody end of Feb, though. It is with such contingencies in mind that I must make another request. The scions of the Seventh Dawn are known for sharing close ties with all three of the Grand Companies. Would you consent to plead our case to their leaders? I will gladly appeal to the Grand Companies on your behalf. I dare not promise a favourable reply. You need say no more. Considering our past dealings, I can well imagine how our plea will be received. Yeah, well... You sow the seeds, you reap the seeds. I see very well I shall send envoys and have them present your request. In the event that your plea does not receive favour and know that any support is certain to be conditional, demands will be made of Ishgard. That is only to be expected. And I speak with Sir Emmerich's authority in this matter that our actions are fully sanctioned by the Holy See. Which brings me to our final request, a personal appeal to you, warrior of light. He ain't got it anymore. The Lord Commander wants to speak to you. You faced Midgard summer and survived. Anything you could share could be an advantage. I've got this dragon that te talks to me. <laughs> Thank you. You were the mantle of hero well. To have seen the roads lead us both to Camp Dragonhead, seek me out when you arrive, Albert. See you later, Cocker. First I expected, but he's halfway through today's thing. And don't bugger all, apart from traipse around. I want to show you my skill in battle with this country. <laughs> Fucking skill. <laughs> I ain't got no skill. Oh, who's this? Oh, it's, it's the Ice Maiden, isn't it? Looks like her. The sons must answer for their father's misdeeds. Only then will the cycle be broken. Well, what's she up to? Is she calling down? Sylvia again, Shiva or whatever her name is. Uh, maybe not. 
Brothers and sisters of the heavens, we raise our voices and join you in the chorus. The sinner's feeble magics are undone. Come, claim your retribution. <laughs> Uh oh. Right, can we get down to business? Meet with Alfred at Camp Dragonhead. Carthos. I'll take more of your money. Man, I've got over 400,000 now, so. Not far to go to three and a half million. I can get me a little bachelor. <laughs> right, where is he? That way somewhere. Hey, Alfie. Where is it, pal? Seems I was the swifter, Albert. You two, however, have arrived with time to spare. For our host to make an appearance. Learn is about camp, some manner of troubles. Oh, do beg your pardon. Lord's commanders that I suggest we visit the place by that what is afoot. Right, so where have we got to go? Ah, uh, up there. So that way I can now. That way. Get on my chicken. Heretic scum, how dare you meddle with our damn divine potential read that okay. We need not fret over much, there are yet several layers of arcane protection, mother will be fine. Who's the other ones? There we are, ten to hooked. When I laid eyes upon Lady Arsart, I felt the marrow freeze within my bones. Yeah, she stiffens everything up. The gates of judgment are much more than mere doors. They are the outermost layer of Ishgard's magical wards. If our first line of defence can be so easily shattered. Speak with Alfie. Alfie! It would seem the heretic struck the first and most telling blow against Ishgard. Scions, we expect you at Camp Dragonhead. My apologies, we chanced to hear that there had been trouble at the gates, thought it prudent to investigate. Then you have learned the heretic's treachery. Lady Arsart led a force of her followers against our defenders and came close enough to dispel the first of our wards. But let us speak more back at the camp. Sir Emmerich awaits you. A bit more dosh. Right. Lady Asset has grown bold. We should, direct, we should return to the yeah, end. Oh, she just said it. Lord Hoshi Fahmi Hawk will know where Sir Emmerich means to receive us. Chicken, I ain't spending more money. I'm a Yorkshireman. Every penny counts. Ah, 
Hello, no, she can't. It is reassuring indeed to behold the countenance of a friend. A single misstep could send us plunging into the abyss. Oh, I've done that many a time. But you did not come to Dragon Egg to listen to my prattling. The Lord Commander has arrived, would treat you as an inter intercessory. Speak with Horsey Font. Speak with Emmerich in the intercessory. Where the hell's the intercessory? Oh, yeah, it's round the back. I remember now. There we go. Four. Photon guard. Yeah, there you go. And there, uh, yes. Emmerich. What say you, Sir Emmerich? I thank you for coming with such haste and I apologise for my absence. Suffice to say, Lady Isart and her heretics have much to answer for. Yes, we are but recently returned from the gates ourselves, given the circumstances we quite understand. Okay, Thursday. Need a brew. On the contrary, Master Alfinord. I think it more important than ever that this meeting take place. Rest assured I shall return to my post the moment our business is concluded. Before we move on to the subject of reinforcements, however, I will introduce you to a close friend and stalwart ally, Estinian. You can take him, Albert. You can have him. May I present you to Ishgard's Azure Dragoon. An impressive title, though I confess I know precious little of the Order of Dragoons. They are formidable warriors, yet even among such masters, the Lancestinian is without equal. He, out of all the warriors, was chosen to wield the power of dragons and may thus contend with any Dravanian. You flatter me over much, Lord Commander. So you're the adventurer. I see now why my blood first sang in anticipation. Well, now that we've all been introduced, let's proceed to the matter at hand. I'll show you what we've learned of Isart's design. It was confessed by the heretics taken captive. Could seen that Lady Ice at the Geranium share a common goal, the reclamation of Nidhogg's stolen eye. Nidhogg, one of the seven great worms. His name features prominently in our nation's history. Though once defeated by the hero Haldreth, the beast is said to have terrorised Curthus since Ishgard's founding. Aye, many are the scars our walls bear. The trophy Heldreth plucked from the bested worm skull, known simply as the eye, is a treasured relic. Should it ever be returned, the dread creature would be restored to the height of his strength. Uh, no wall could hold him. Uh, Midgard, so my vengeful son, hath waged war against Ishgard for a thousand years. No mortal mind could comprehend the depths of his rancour. The eye itself is secreted deep within the vault. It is kept under heavy guard, surrounded at all times by men and women who have proven their loyalty. But though stout walls and sharp blades may suffice, the dragons are another matter. There are individuals within the Dravonian horde whom an entire company of knights would labour to repel. Nor does age rob them of their strength, though the endless march of years the dragons endure. Uh, Waffle, waffle, waffle. Come on, down to business. We're going to go and kill some dragons or what? Been 20 years since Nidho Blast darkened our skies. You believe that Lady Arsa is in league with the creature? Of that we cannot be certain. Such questions aside, we must needs address the ragged hole their mistress has been fit to 
rend in this cast protects. So it would seem you have described your plight in admiral detail. I cannot but wonder at your candour. Why share such sensitive information? I shall speak plain. Ishgal is need of allies. Yeah, well, I thought that was obvious. This much I expected. Unlike our arrangement concerning the keep of the lake, however, only you stand to benefit. I fail to see why we should intervene. Yeah. When the Earls in Alliance requested Ishgal's assistance, you refused us. Does it not seem grossly unjust to demand that we now risk our lives in your private war? I make no attempt to defend. I only ask that you consider what would follow were Ishgard to fall. Having raised our sick to the ground, the hold will have little cause to linger yet and they'll move forward. Till the Garleans arrive, that is, for you may be certain that the Empire would not hesitate to claim Kothlas. He's right. An imperial province sharing a border towards seven hells. Very well, we will assist you. The roar of a great worm may have shaken the fleet. Yeah, okay, waffle, waffle, waffle. Yeah, okay, just sure. I'll, allow me, sir. Emery. Oh, God, he's going to have his bloody say now. Through the power of the eye, become the vessel of Nidug's strength. His essence has stolen into my very blood. Fear not, I am in full control, I assure you, and the eye itself is no relevance to this tale. <coughs> Excuse me, Covid. Its lingering influence does, however, allow me to hear Nidhogg's voice. Then the worm who roared. Was Nidhogg I? He means to hurl his sword against Danny Fenn's collar and shatter the remaining wards. There can be no doubt the worm has summoned his minions to war. Minions! Banana! Speak with Alfie. Alfie! Yeah, well, opportunity being the sister states together. So, um, yeah, okay, but did you still look at this when you formally requested our assistance? The days ahead promised to be interesting. Complete. Speak with Alfie again. Well, if we are to aid the East Guardians, preparations will have to be made. Before proceeding, however, we must return to Rising Stones and make our report. Right. Return. Right, next one. We're coming up to 45 minutes. Shaven Haven. As he stalls. Ah, oh, there's Tattoo. Tattoo, you ain't cocky. Alfino, it is good to see you. Tell me, what have you learned? Pray summon the others. Everyone must hear my report. Oh, inbred. Still don't trust him. This was all but a taste of what's to come. Indeed. 
The main host advances upon Ishgard as we speak. Whose vaunted defenses have been nullified? Shorn of its wards, the city will bear the full force of Nidhogg's fury. All those people. Althano is right. The Dravanians cannot be allowed to prevail. If Ishgard falls, all of Eorzea will suffer the consequences. Oops, no, I didn't mean to do that. No. That's what I meant to press. I pressed then wrong button again. We have again. no choice but to intervene. For the good of the realm, the Scions of the Seventh Dawn and the Crystal Braves must join the defense of Ishgard. Let there be no ambiguity about what has been proposed. We would be directly intervening in the war. But if all here believe the cause to be just, then to war we shall go. The path we now embark upon is perilous, but I pray you will walk with us to the end. Oh, I'll go crawl through broken glass for you, love. For those we have lost, for those we can yet save. Then it is settled. I shall inform the Council of our intentions and request that they contribute their own forces to the defense of Ishgard. Right. What next? Go and get a Malfi. I didn't have a shave today. Should have done. Should have looked my best for you lot. Suspicious. So's Albert. Complete. Mage filler again. Assist with the preparations. I bid the Archons travel to their assigned nations. Should the members of the Alliance agree to pledge? Our comrades will be on hand to act as intermediaries. The small matter of persuading the Alliance leaders to grant so I leave to Alfie. For you, my friend, a different task. I'd have you reach out to your fellow adventurers and gather what allies you may for the coming siege. I would also have you consider the matter for your own security. It's not unimaginable that the fact you may spill across the border. Pray brief sl sl slathbone the brewing conflict yeah waffle 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 right so you've got to go and speak to Slathbone yeah oh speak with Tattoo Tattoo where are you Tattoo Hey. We are rather close to Kurthus, so we best see to our own defences and take stock of our supplies. We also need to have beds and bandages in case good reception is ready for any eventuality. Let's go Albert, I have 101 things to discuss with Slapborn. I'm going to speak with Slapborn. Into the Shaven Haven. on the old vape bloody hell thank you follicle a slap on there he is My tattoo's already filling him in 
I appreciate the warning, then the toll must be made ready. I'll increase the number of patrols, round up volunteers. I must disappoint you. There'll be no official adventurers go presence at the siege. Uh, I shall have a word with some of my more capable colleagues. Right, speak with Tattoo. Let's get started, shall we? We have a town to rise. So I've got to go and rouse the town. Speak to the volunteers. Well, here's one. Accomplished adventurer. Hello, pretty lady. Spare me a talk. I'm not in the habit of volunteering for lost causes. I've survived this life. Yeah, all right, you coward. Where's your honour? Oh, he's going to mention inbred, isn't he? His card sounds like she's in the right mess, but that ain't what I want to talk to you about. I need to cast your mind back to that scuffle. A lad from Little Amigo by the name of Will Red was there with the fourth. I want to know if you've seen him since, have you? Not Wilfred. Because damn it, I feel as much no one's bloody seen him. It's like the ground opened up and swallowed him. But that ain't all. Around the time Wilfred stopped turning up for duty, the weapons went missing from the vault. Now, of course, half the brave suspect the lad are making off with them. Folk like to believe our company's a disciplined fighting force. The only thing binds us together is our oath. Now compared to most others, Wilfred's a fresh-faced novice, bleeding well put against walls, but the boy's got passion, he wouldn't rob us, and then there's just between the others, the fact that the lad wanted to tell me something queried noticed in the ledgers, something about the Braves' numbers not adding up. There's a villain at the other end of this trail I've stumbled on, and I'll bet me good eye ain't young Wilfred. Anyway, we've got a war to wage, I'll be seeing you, Albert. Yeah, we will we'll get him bred. We know it's him. Oh, it could be him. Right, crack on doing these. We'll go right way. No, up here. Where's the one round here then? No. Nope. Around here. Ah, adept adventurer. So he's got six soul swords. I'm not sure I like the sound of this siege. I pledge myself to guard Revenant's toll. Okay. Zooming on the map a bit. Well, that's why. In here? No, you can't go in there. Oh, you bugger. Right, uh, get on the chicken. Sell my blade to these guardians, their dragons are fearsome, but I'd slay me a first share if the coin was good. I've worked for one of the knights before, watch me like a bloody orc. Oh, there's one on board then. And where's the next one? Three. This way. Looks like we're going right way. Rowena's House of Splendors. There he is. Volunteer my services? I think not. Yeah, okay. No problem. Speed with tattoo. Oh, 
Jockey. Ah, there is. There you are. Did you get any? Oh, that's one. One or two, eh? Complete. What's next? Oh, itchy, itchy bloody nose. Tattoo. I've been caught up. There's been word from Alfie. Convening in Uldar. They request your presence as usual. Anyway, bet you best make your way to Uldar or you'll be late. Okay. Gonna get any fighting done today. Gonna do a big battle or something. Right, so I need the ether art crystal what's here I think there he is right and I want That's the one I want in it. That one. Chamber of Rill. Go. Into Royal Promenade. See what they've got to say in here. Oh, here's Alfie. Serpent lady. Apologise for calling you away. Hope to proceed. Gathering. Need to say I felt obliged to attend. The Alliance leaders are already seated. Let us join them. Uh, more chatting. are well aware of Ishgard's dilemma, and we agree with your assessment. Then I trust there are no objections to the Crystal Brave's intervention. Da has none. Redonia does not object. The Crystal Braves are yours to command, Alfino. Do what you will. We shall pray for your success. It was my hope that you would offer more substantial aid than prayer. I know it is within your means. Do not presume that you have knowledge of our every concern. The Garleans and the Beast Tribes are but two of many. We are not in a position to contribute greatly to the defense of Ishgard. Not when our own homes are still under siege. We dare not leave our interest in Cartano undefended as well. Telegi Adelegi and his ilk would seize control of the territories in our absence. The enemy is at their gates and you would cower behind yours? Well, that's what they did. No one is cowering, boy. We will offer what support we can. Aye, support. A handful of men and no more. Would that we could commit more than a token force to this cause. 
Yet there are others to whom you might turn. The free companies ever want for work. Ah, yes. The free companies. They're not like to turn you down. I beg your pardon? You would entrust the survival of Ishgard to sell swords? Crises like these are the very reason why this alliance was formed. It is our duty to aid our fellow man. My duty is to my country and my people. If you expect us to place the welfare of a foreign power above our own, you're going to be sorely disappointed. Lest you doubt, Nimsa comes first, then the Alliance, and finally, circumstances permitting, Ishgard and the rest. If you cannot understand so simple a concept, then you have no place at this table. Forgive me, Admiral. I was careless in my choice of words. I suggest you assemble a party of elite adventurers, assuming you haven't already. Your fellows served us well during Operation Archon. I dare say they will do so again. Go and get your mates, Albert. If I may, Your Grace, I wish to propose a redistribution of forces. We entrust the security of Uldar to the Frost Blades for a time. We can dispatch a larger force to Ishgard. Your Grace? Uh. Yes. Yes, of course. Do what you will. No, oh, he likes her. Uh... So Grace not feeling well. To the best of my knowledge, her grace is in perfect health. I see. Carry on. Albert's not stupid. he's got to say once again I owe an apology it seems you've been conscripted into leading a contingent of adventurers on the mission I fear we've been left with little altered we cannot well abandon Lord Horshi and Sir Emmerich to their fate we must abide by the council's decision as short-sighted as it is and strive to fulfill our roles as Eorzea's guardians Just want to do a short survey. Captain Inbred, what news? The assault's begun. We have but this moment concluded our audience. Move our forces into position. Your unit will join House Durandare at the Steel Vigil. Man the cannons and thin the Javanian horde. Uh, they descend, descend upon Ishgard. I'll join you as soon as I'm able. I will have faith with you and your adventurer allies bolster the defences at the steps of faith. Report first to Sir Mar Marceline at the gates of judgment and he will direct you. Okay. You know what? Sod it. Let's go and do it. Speak with Marceline at the gates of judgment. Come on, boss. Yes. Let's go see if we get a battle. Fancy doing a bit of fighting. Right. Right, chicken. Huh? Chicken.
where is he? Marcelino, whatever his name is. Ah, there he is. You are the anoint, appointed captain, then welcome. There is no shortage of blade work to be done. Skirmishes across the central islands. I will assign the crystal blaze to contain these attacks. Merely a precursor to the assault proper. We'll remain on the steps of faith. Right. So, white rim. Where's that then? Okay, get on my chicken again. Around here somewhere. I ain't got a Sherman tank. Did you get one of them from? There it is. Get ready for fighting. Get off my chicken. Next ones. Get out of there. Come on, come on, quick shot. Barrage. because they're flying. Right, defeat at Province Point, which is where... Get on the old chicken. Kill some more wyverns and dragons, I guess.
a while and now we're early. Oh yeah, pokers. Down, yeah, bloody hell, he's still got loads to go. Get out there, keep running around in circles, getting from the front. Come on, chicken, you can do your stuff. You're doing well. Right, report to Marceline. Quests in there. These shit loads of them. Who's out there? Awesome. News adventurer, the reinforcements decimated, you say. Damn their scaly hides. Hold fast to your grief and fury. We will engage the death of your fellows in the battles to come. Complete. Next one. Prepare for the siege of each guard. There you commit yourself to the siege. You should know what it is you're tasking and defending. Yeah, the gates, steps of faith, great bridge of stone, more than simply means an access, the bridge serves as a foundation, alas in dispelling the barriers out most there, they can get there, yeah, yeah if they succeed, they are straight into each guard, may the fury guide your blades, quest accepted, steps of faith, right, Where's that one then? There it is. And we'll save that one for next time, I think. Now, you know what? Let's go and do it. Steps of faith. Join. It's an eight man team. So, I shall pause the recording there and I'll catch you on the flip side. Well, we're ready, peeps. That didn't take long. It only took about three minutes. Alright. Let's go and do this. Get comfy. Ready for. Holy shit. Ugh. 
steps of faith. Oh, oh the old April's twitching now. done so their tanks can go and do their stuff. Go on, select, thank you. right in front of you. stunned am I? Keep up with the others. Oh, 
fucking hell, fire. Oh, dead. Did that get under his foot? Come on, raise. Why is he not raising? Oh, did I click on the wrong thing? Oh, crap. Come on, Albert. My fault that one. I clicked on wait instead of. Oh, shit. I meant to click on accept. I press wait, didn't I? I've no idea what wait means. to run up have I? Bridges. Oh well. Didn't do a lot, did I? <laughs> As usual, I just laid, laid, laid around. Well done, team. You did a grand job. Sorry you had to carry me through that. Well, last couple of minutes. Hundred. Hundred elegant thingy real jiggies. Any coffers? Oh, I don't look like it. Exit. Dragons there withdrawing. Victory is ours. Hooray. Nah, that's not the end of it though, is it? Can't be. What can you see through your goggles? Oh, is that the king? Ah, one of Nidog's greatest champions slain. The Horde will not soon recover from this blow. But what of you, Nidog? Why did you not join your minions? Mayhap you prefer to have your allies fight your battles for you. You have a guild to do your bidding now. I shall slay Iceheart and all the rest. But I yearn to spill the blood of a great worm, Nidog, and only your death will sate my lance. Ooh. So he can jump. Boop de fucking do. Alright, speak with Alfie at the gates of judgment. The dragons are routed, lest you wonder the fighting at the steel vigil was also fierce, but my braves were not found wanting. Oh, it's the Elmerick. 
Commander Lavelier, Albert, true to your word, you are alive to aid us in our hour of need. On behalf of the Holy See and the people of Ishgard, I offer you my humble thanks. Though I would stay and lavish you with well-deserved praise, I fear I must away to oversee the aftermath. Not all the dragons are fled. Yeah, off you go then, pal. I too would offer my thanks. With the Dravanian horde thus weakened, the threat to Ishgard has been greatly diminished. Mayhap equally significant, the Holy See must now recognise the cooperation. Yeah, 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 I know. Yeah, you want to get everybody together. And as ever, the journey is made with you in the van. No, I weren't. I was on my chicken. I didn't have a van. I'm supposed to get a Ford Transit now. The victory you have won this day gives us great hope for the morrow. Yeah, waffle, waffle, waffle. Can we go now? I need a brew. Uh, uh, I must accompany Captain Inbred. Oh no, don't Alfie. He's dodgy, mate. Return to Revenant's Toll. Show your tail with Minge, fella. Alfie, don't. Oh, he better not get done in. Right, we'll go back to Rising Stones first. Let's see what Mingeville has got to say. I don't know what I got for getting that quest. I can't move my picture out of the way. To see what I want. Oops, there we go. Uh, let's have a look. Inventory. Don't see nothing new in there. No, army chest. Don't see nothing new in that. Nah, I didn't get, didn't get nothing, did I? Just got the crystals. Right, let's go see Minge Filler. Slap on. Here we go. Tattoo. You're right, Cocker. Flem. Go, Flem. Right, let's see what she's got to say, and then we'll call it a day. Oh, too far away now, you've got to be closer to her, mate. Poor other charm. Welcome back, Albert. Alfie sent word of the season, of course, the role you played in ending it. Well, I just laid about for the last two minutes. Your deeds never cease to amaze me, Albert. Thank you. Well, I'll show you some deeds, love. Spiel, spell speed, that's no good. Skill speed, yeah that'll do. I need to find one of them people who put crystals in your weapons, don't I? Uh, accept, what's she got for me? You must be weary, Albert, and now many may very well be your only chance. Antecedent? Oh no, 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 don't tell me Alfie's had it. <laughs> Hello! A messenger for Uldar. Arrived with a missive. Oh no, 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 not Alfie. Royal seal, curious indeed. An invitation. On behalf of the council. Oh, it's Nanu Nanu, innit? Attend a feast, it's where she'll say she's standing down. Truly, I find it strange that the Alliance leaders should think themselves deserving of a place. All three refuse to deploy their standing armies. Uh, but mayhap they simply seek a pretext to meet with the Ishgardians. 
we have scarce time to mow and moon breeder but I've got to go out shopping and get something to wear <laughs> I need some new shoes <laughs> yeah, you can't go wearing that you wore that last time you can't wear twice on the trot though you'll promise rest yeah of course no rest for the wicked tattoo if you do me a favour contact the rest of the scions of course antecedent and please let me know if there's anything else I can do right, off you go Chuck curious I've never known tattoo to sigh at such requests could all be a miss Quest accepted. Oh, not a cutscene. Always happens, doesn't it, when you want to finish? Now, nah, there we go. Look for tattoo at her desk. Well, that's where we'll carry on tomorrow. So, well, I hope you enjoyed today's episode and me being in the corner playing didn't put you off. <laughs> hey. So, as always, your views are appreciated. Shout out to the Bit Shoot Massive. Keep it up, guys. Uh, I do appreciate all your views. So until tomorrow, I'll see you there. All right.